Oh, we've got Daniel. Daniel, how do you pronounce that? Wegerson. Wegerson. Daniel Wegerson in Foxtrot Zulu Golf. Cessna 180. He's warming up for the competition. The first Skywagon, the first 180. He's on the list, but he decided he's he just took off. <coughs> Daniel's um, Daniel's written quite a few. Uh, written a book. Uh, it's here in the hangar. Oh, oh, got his book. That's his book. They the, gave me that book about all the the different stories of the pilots from around the place. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is his son just here in front of us here. Oh yeah. So we got the son now here who's filming the father and there's another he's got a brother here too i think brother or cousin I think so, yeah. how do you pronounce daniel's surname where's he where's he Where is it? this is his son here filming him yes and there's another brother or another cousin here uh, there's a bunch of words here. What a bunch. Relax. Relax. Some coffee. Um, I'm gonna take whiskey. Right <laughs> now it's gonna be Okay. You got what water? No water? Yes. Please. Yeah, here's a bottle. Yeah, man. Not only we were we were talking the commentary. I hope it was live because we were saying not only did this guy get thirty or fifty people engaged, each have their role. You know, from the video to Zeke with the drones. You know, to to the people with the asado, the people to manage the traffic. It just you had 30 or 50 people you had to get to do their part yes that you created and then all these other pilots now show up from five countries i think yes. there's five airplanes here from five countries in south america all watching Same you second. and you're done all this and you had the night last night with you know <laughs> the with the restaurant and you had to organize it all and now you got to go win the thing and you <laughs> did you came up jumped in your super cub and you flew it and you won it's not so the, the, the idea to win the idea is to push forward the thing uh yeah well you're a gentleman to say that and that's true but we're all we all have an ego we want to do as well as we can and right for sure, always yeah so you did you and you and it, and that happened too so I know, like when you said you're ready to sit down and relax, and you don't need a Red Bull. I understand. You read, <laughs> you've, you've got a lot you've put into this, KK, for like sure. I like competition. I compete all my life and being part of build this and to compete too is one of the most cool. greatest things in my life. So yeah. We are sharing here one of the moments. So yeah. thank you guys for being here. Well, you created a lot. You should be proud of that. Thank you. Feel well. good about it. Thank you. Know, you. You're a natural leader. I imagine mean, you do a lot, a lot of things. Okay, So Danny, we got, who do we have here now? Daniel Wersin, one of the Daniel first Wersin. Bush pilots in Patagonia. Tell, tell us, he's lined up. He's, he's on the line. He's, he's getting line, focused. Yeah. Ready for his takeoff. Yes, Daniel has his plane at least for 30 years, I believe. Daniel is Pablo's father. Pablo is one of the closest guys here in the team, Patagonia with pilots. And how far is he from home now? How far has he traveled well, to this he, airport? he used to own the Lake Cholila airstrip and he had a disease, so it is. He he need to move into one side. He's the one that sold that, and yeah. then the, the guy that owned the land. Exactly. Yeah. Now he's living in Lobos, Buenos Aires province. I believe it's a thousand and seven hundred kilometers from here. South of here. Yes, it's 
a, a thousand miles perhaps and oh. he was so confused with his disease with his thing and this kept him some a focus of focus and energy. come back to yes. the pilot community here it's one of the best things of the traveling flying to have Danny here and join aviation with us Yeah, I was told about that airstrip. It's up at a lake in the mountains in a very beautiful spot. Is that is that yes. correct? Where you, you, yeah. you had that land for yeah, what's of his life? The next day we're going to fly it together. Oh, okay. uh, there are two great airstrips that Daniel. Well, Daniel used to own the Lake Cholila and work into Lake Esperanza. And now I'm doing that job. I'm taking things there with. The XP we took gas, propane, food for the people. We took the people oh. there. He's revving up. I believe he's ready. No, oh, he's he's not at the line oh, yet. He's got a pull yeah, to the line. he's warming up. I believe. Yeah, yeah. So, so is the. Uh, yeah, interesting. Uh, uh, some noise, a horn or something on your... Yeah, he does. I do. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw him was on Mervyn Evans's plane. I said, well, what's that for? A big klaxon. He said, well, that's to move the cows out of the way. <laughs> no, you know why I put that on the plane? Because there is some fires here in the National Park and the people ask us to help find who did those fire intentional. And people at the ground don't have aviation radios. So when I found people in the middle of the wood, I cannot communicate with them. So it was cheaper to buy that device than an aeronautical radio. So I reduce power and I can speak from okay. that, that thing that I have. So you can uh, speak correctly. So people exactly, and the people can hear me. They hear in red jacket. Exactly. Okay. That's it. Terrorists. Yeah. Not just because they're damaged to natives, they're at risk of life. Very lucky we got the volunteer uh, Barbados here. We have there's three or four groups of fire and firefighters in it. And every year they, they, they put it on the line. Well, we are having right now a uh, big fire. Yeah. Yeah. Daniel's taxi into the line. Everything is in everybody's individual time here. I like it. It's peaceful. It's a calm place. It's a gentle, gentle society. But here's Daniel about to roll. The wind is now only 1.8 and it's a little off of the runway. I think it's a time delay on that. Yes, I believe yeah, it's a time delay. It's a little bit. Yeah, it's actually fairly down the runway and at least as strong as the 3.8 that we've seen most of the morning. I like to, to see the flag. The flag is like more precise than the wind, so mm. to feel the, that soft Oh, how much soft the, air. the soft one, Exactly. Right. I like that sound. And they're between uh, somewhere around mid 80s, the mid 80s, it looks like. Oh, 86. Here we go. 86 nice number. Yeah. I believe it's his best number here. Oh, wow. So yeah, it's, uh, it is quite a quiet town, but there are some wild places to hang out as well. 
<laughs> Andy know a lot about those things. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> he'll, somebody's going to find it. Andy will find it. <laughs> Andy, you know. Andy's going to lead you there. Yeah. <laughs> Things look different at four in the morning where you're like that. thing are those clouds those clouds are they keep the turbulence down yes and the warm and the density the altitude everything is very stable yeah, very stable yeah very stable without yeah, this cloud it's been very stable all through all through the morning really it's yeah. a, been a perfect morning for it it's 206 meters total 120 on the landing So for a plane of that, that weight, that's a, that's a good number. Yes, yeah, good number. Yeah. You feel the urge to, to jump in a plane and compete a little? Uh, no. I'm just, I'm just happy to be here and get to know everybody. I'm, I'm learning so much just being here. You know, from and attempt number two. I look better. Yeah, really clean. He is number Okay, so yep, that was a lot seventy one meters compared to his eighty six for his first his first round. So he's seventy one meters. It's a big improvement. Mm -hmm. He's out there playing for 30 years. He must really know every look at Granny, every. Uh, I met each of those pilots there. yesterday. Yeah. And uh, look forward to seeing them after the after this competition also. <coughs>
Okay, just turn in final. Then Daniel was Daniel Weggers in. consistent. Six departing. One hundred twenty-four meters, so slightly yeah. longer. One hundred ninety-five overall. overall. Yeah, overall shorter. Negri is up next, taxiing to the line in the pretty purple, <coughs> the light purple and white 180. Time in it keeps him in shape, <laughs> yeah. <coughs> What'd you say about these putting around your belly? Doesn't you know? And they're just so easy to eat. Some guys called a, a torta frita. I don't, know I don't buy them at home. No, no, we don't. Well, we buy them because they're here not next door. <laughs> Factures, that's usually what they have, and then they have a total fita, which is a square piece of fried bread. <coughs> oh. And when they're warm, they're just, oh, they're really nice. But really high on. That was a no-flap takeoff, so 
that's his own way of doing it, but... <clears throat> no flap. He didn't use any flaps on that takeoff. And, uh... Almost invariably with a Cessna wing, that big Fowler, Fowler flap makes a huge difference to, to get out. It accelerated quickly. <coughs> Everybody has their technique. 113 meters. What was the takeoff? We haven't written it in here, but what was the take? The last takeoff was what, 74 meters? Uh, 71 was the shortest. 71. Yeah. Right. These really good pastries here, and I inhaled a little piece of one. You know, I got news from my daughter last night. I got news from my daughter last night. Landing. Wow. Congratulations, man. Yeah, last night. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. First, wow. first time for her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hey. yeah. This is my daughter. Yeah. She's uh she's just or let me find the other She's just, how do you say 20? She's a 20? 20. She's 20 anos more than you. <laughs> but in, in my mind, in my mind, my daughter is the same age as you. To, to me, Emma, to me, this is my daughter. The same for you and your dad. Yeah. She's super sensible. She understands those things. Yeah. Yeah. Do you like to go flying with your dad? Yeah. Where's your favorite place he takes you to go? Oh, to get on the water to make the spray? Yes. Yeah. There is a, a video when she was about uh, five years old. She asked me to feel G. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I want to feel the G's. In that video, her eyes came out of his 
faith. <laughs> she took at least one year to come to play again, to but come now down. she's enjoying it too much. <laughs> the, she's Oh, you like aerobatics? Do you do you, do you, do you take the stick and make it do aerobatics? Not yet. No. She likes to feel the thing on his the, body, but not to, yeah, yeah, yeah. to control it. Yeah. Yep, yep. Let's see what <clears throat> happened with Alfredo. Oh, Alfredo's on I think he's gonna have final land for his first land. landing. Yeah, he's too fast. First landing too fast right yeah. now. Yeah, no, he scratched the first landing because uh, okay. Bounced a lot, so he'll probably come back round and uh, take his second. second. He's with. <laughs> yep, still carrying power. Yeah. I think I heard some sweat. Well, he flew it on. He flew it on. He's, he's more comfortable. He's more yeah. comfortable with that one in the yeah, first one. Sure. Yeah. Security first. We're here to have fun, not to win anything. No. Yeah. <laughs> you know. No airplane, no no metal has been bent here. You have a hundred percent safe event exactly. here. Exactly, is the idea. Yeah. Very the safe. Idea Very safe. safe. Yeah. You can say que the leader of this. Are you guys okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have anything? Water. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Relax. <clears throat> you need anything? Okay. <laughs> I know why he's so thin. He's running in all and out time. all the time. Yeah. For the last week, I believe he slept at least five hours. As five much. hours. The other hours of the day, he was working with this. The entire yeah. day, he was working with the cables, Focused on with everything. the cameras, with the streaming, with the internet. He's a machine. Mm -hmm. He's, a, He's really a machine. machine. Yeah. 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 I'm going to school, you miss school? Yeah. I'm going to go to school with my son. Oh, class. really? The same yeah. class? Same age? Yeah. Oh, okay, 12 years old? They are school partners. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. And how does my son in the school? A little vague, no? I worry because he's his son, so perhaps he's going to be as dangerous as, as him. <laughs> no, Lennox, Lennox is, is quiet. He's, um, he's more like the mother. Yeah, Maria is a very reserved, thoughtful person. The other one is <laughs> the devil. The other one is the devil. You have an older one too? I've got a younger one. Oh, a younger one. Oh. Eight years old. He's a Tasmanian devil. Oh. So here's the, the second, second a try. Oh. Alfredo Negri. Looks yeah. when it's high. It was yeah. high, yeah. And he asked it to fly at almost exactly the right yeah. time for that flap. That's exactly. when it flew. Use it here to take it, make the roll yeah. with the flap. Make shorter the, the takeoff. The first takeoff was no flap. Did the you? What? No, I didn't the saw it. Oh, yeah. He was very fast. This is completely new for us. No, this no, is his first time. no flap takeoff first time. And it was ready to fly here with flap, but he flew there without, without it. it. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> Learn how to use flaps is super important in this kind of flying. So it's obvious who has practiced through this line, yeah. actually on a line before, and who is no. not. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This yep. is gonna be the first time for Alfredo, and it's the first time for Leandro. He's gonna be the next competitor. Leandro, this yeah. is the last guy you just put yes. in this year? Leandro is gonna be the last guy to compete, and just Alfredo and Leandro, they are their first time competing in stall. So, not the last. In the security brief we made two days ago, we say that. We are not here to try new things. We are here right, to right, do right. what we were training. 
so we can see easy which one train yeah. <laughs> before <coughs> Alfredo Vest takeoff was 109 meters. Mm -hmm. and his landing was this way. You can see the smoke on the back of the screen. That's a big fire in the National Park Los Alerces. 20 miles from here. The wind is helping us to keep the smoke of this area. Emma, yeah. it's my daughter and me back in... Skiing, we were skiing. Here he comes. Yeah. And... Full left. <laughs> Still flying. A lot of energy. How long does he have this airplane? How long oh, he has see. this airplane, I believe. <coughs> Five years. Five years or so. Hmm. It's the first time in stock. Yes. So I will say this, it, it's more important with this airplane yeah. to fly it gracefully than to fly it super short. And he's doing, that was graceful actually. Yeah. So it's more important to be smooth with this than it is to be abrupt, you know, be, to be the finesse. That, that's finesse, to yeah. be graceful. The real finesse is to ha do that with less energy. To be that smooth with less energy. And that is burning a lot of fuel. Then that's burning <laughs> a lot of fuel. Right. <coughs> I like to see the wheels with the white lines. Yeah, right. The white from the dust. Yeah. And chalk. <coughs> So oh, we've got our last competitor, our is last, Leandro uh, first timer. Basico. Leandro Busaca, Busaca, a friend from Busaca. Pedro Luro, Buenos Aires province. He used to be the owner of the Coyote that Bernardo oh, okay. owns today. He changed from the Coyote to the 180. Oh, he told me about selling it. He came from the light sport category to the Heavy touring category. With no stop in the middle. No, no stop, stop in the middle. Directly. <laughs> and the There's wind is actually here. lighter now. The wind is actually light. Oh, go ahead. Sorry, sorry. The wind is actually a little lighter here, according to this, like one to two miles an hour. Air <coughs> prop. <laughs> the interesting and, thing uh, here is that Leandro wasn't supposed to be competed. He had at the last moment, because two of the competitors we have to the heavy touring didn't present into the briefing, obligatory briefing we had when uh, the Friday. So there were only Daniel and Alfredo on the heavy touring category. And we said to Leandro, do you want to compete? You don't have to do anything else as when you land for the first time in traveling. And you will have the th at least the third place. Right. <laughs> and now that is... Because he was there. He attended the briefing. Exactly. Yeah. The, he was at the briefing. So uh, the interesting thing is... He's new, his, his first 
repetition. He's uh, he has this plan at least for just two or three months, mm. and he's now competing to Daniel Alfredo. And let's see what happened. Perhaps is second, second place. place, third yeah. place. We'll see. We'll see. There's a, there's a Lois, there's, there's always the chance, you know, the, the, the beginner's luck, you know. It's the beginner's, beginner's luck, luck yeah. sure. <coughs> slowly, slowly the smoke is approaching, and this is gonna help us finish the competition, and then perhaps we can feel something. Yeah, the, the high overcast has kept it um not turbulent you know nobody's wings are shaking today no, it's very stable. stable air from the high overcast taking all the solar heat over in the mountains and the mountains now are very gorgeous the smoke is lifted this morning the mountains were obscured I wait. and uh and uh, so now he's on final coming in on final Judges, well, they've had to move a lot further up there. <laughs> the wrong way now. Yeah. <laughs> yep, so there he goes. He's got a. There he goes. He's got himself a. You can say he flew at the competition. Yeah. So he's 285 meters. Okay. That's his first run, so maybe next one he can improve on that. It's nice when the, the competition so sort of bites it's sort of like well now you're really on to start thinking you know, you improve. yeah yeah well yeah having being here and flying it for everybody is it gives them a real perspective now on on how they do as a person in the pressure of the competition how their airplane is prepared how much fuel they're carrying how how they're knowing how they're their mind is prepared, how well slept they are. Yeah. It's all, they're aware now, like how the result becomes from all the efforts up to that. And also how the other air, other pilots of the other planes are doing rel, do relative to their, them in yeah. each of those, with each of those categories. Weight is a big thing. Did I see you take the spare seat out of the, yeah, I thought I saw, because I went by the first time, I said, oh, I can see, oh, here we go, take off number two for Leandro, who's the guy? Yeah, that was good. Uh, I think it was, well, he's, I think it was, well, out of four notches, I think he had two. I was talking, but I think he had two. Yeah. But I mean, it's all there. Yeah. Everything is there. Yeah, it's all. And feel yeah. slow or fast you can. Right. right. Two, two ways of flying, I would yeah. say. One is by numbers and the other one is by feelings. Feelings always wins. Yes. This kind of flying is just by feelings. You need to know the numbers, but when you feel the plane, the plane became part of your body. And that's a right. completely different 
Yeah. And as the plane builds lift, it's and you're holding that pressure with the flap, it's telling you, okay, let me go now. Second. And you just and you can ease it off. And, Uh, yeah, so Leander, and you pronounce that Busaka? Exactly, perfect. Busaka, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> it's been really a pleasure. I met, I was saying I met, well, I met many, many pilots here. And I met all of the pilots, so all the sky wagons when I was here yesterday, or in the three days, I've met them all. Very interesting. It's an honor to have you here. You know that. Oh. Uh, I appreciate too much uh, having you present here <laughs> and your collaboration with this is, I want to oh, thank you, you yeah. very much. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you, Bob. Yep. Who's this CK. one? It's mine? Uh, no, yes, yours. One this one's yours. mine. CK, I appreciate it. It's very, it's... TK, to be here is uh, a pleasure and an honor for me, too, you know. And it's nice to be a part of the soul of the stole. And, you know, it's a, it's a community. It's a friendships. It it's friendships across the planet that are interested in similar stuff. And you've got so much. There's so much room, right? There's so much room to expand here in the end. In yeah. The, in, in Everything Argentina. is new. This kind of thing is new here. Yeah, there's so, so much to explore and learn and people to meet by being out and traveling. I talked to uh, one fellow yesterday whose brother-in-law lives in a cabin down at the foot of some famous mountain. I'll think of which mountain it is in a minute and and he showed me in google maps where it is it's like i made a mark because i know i can you can't land there, land, land <laughs> yeah, there. Sure. oh yeah i'll tell my brother-in-law <laughs> you know it's like and everyone is gonna be happy if you land there that's yeah. the best thing yeah, it's Trevelin. exciting Trevelin is has a great community traveling people yeah. are good in traveling is there are some good, people here good people yeah and here's uh, Leandro on uh, short final. Left in the wind, he cleaned the wind, very good. Well, he threw him down. He <laughs> threw him down, but it didn't. It, 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 it didn't. It didn't. It didn't click in. Click. And when grab when it slowed down, it just fell to one. There, he got it now. Yeah. Let's so, see the uh, results. I'm interested <coughs> in, in, in the results. In the result between Alfredo and Leandro is the most interesting thing for me right now. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> so these, these guys are new in this kind of competition. Leandro is also new in this plane and his best number is 285.5 meters the total i think that was the number i remember from uh from, from, some, from alfredo previous yeah. so you think this is uh you may have to tie? fly them again hey, yeah. yeah yeah i think let us check yeah Was his because, best one? Yeah. Mm. The first one was <coughs> there he goes. Beginner's lucky. Got it. Beginner's so. lucky. Congratulations to Leandro. We did yeah, second place. Right. Yeah. So are, so are we. Uh, 
So we've, we've finished everyone with has the flown. competition. Yes. Everyone has flown at this point. Wow. Okay. So I believe now the party starts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll go get my special trousers. <laughs> yes. special trousers. It was fun doing the. Yeah, thank thing you very much, you, Andy. Yeah. Yeah, you sorry. I, like I say, I'm very green to this at the moment, so. Thank you. A lot of questions. Part of this. So, uh, and you learn a lot as well, even though you didn't compete. You learn a whole lot. Yeah, you know? yeah. I learned I want to get an airplane. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be easier for you to learn now. Yeah. <laughs> it must be. You've been learning a, a more, very important part of this. Just being part of it. You've got to be around the. What I like, and that's why I miss about uh, being in the UK, uh, I was always around enthusiasts. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, you with know, can see now the results. With, with the cars and, and, you know, in the hangar. Oh, it was 195. Okay, that's what we saw. So, so, yeah. So there's experience right there, right? Yeah, yeah you can see the numbers, yeah. Yep, that's experience. That's it. That's what makes him alpha, number two and dog. number three. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like you said, beginner's luck, he got second place in the competition yeah, yeah right. so uh yeah there we go so are we still live do you think or maybe well, still live, but I, I would like to finish here and let's join yeah let's do that. something to drink or eat yeah okay thank drink. you very much and uh thank you guys yep. all right take Stay care that's Thank you.